Okay, let's talk about something that might be happening inside your Proxmox server right now. It's a sneaky little problem, a kind of time bomb that's just waiting to take your whole home lab down. So today, we're gonna break down what this hidden storage issue is, and more importantly, how you can defuse it based on what the community has already learned the hard way. So let me just ask you straight up, are you absolutely sure your server isn't a ticking time bomb? Because for a lot of people, the answer is a terrifying no and they usually don't find out until everything has already ground to a screeching halt. And this quote right here, this just perfectly captures the nightmare scenario. This isn't some hypothetical, it's a real story from a user right from the trenches. I mean, can you imagine spending hours pulling your hair out, thinking it's a network glitch or a bad update, only to realize your storage just silently suffocated your entire system? That's the exact danger we're talking about today. All right, so let's get into the nitty gritty of the sneaky storage problem. What is actually going on under the hood here? This is the classic story. One minute, everything's humming along, your dashboard is all green, all your services are up, and then, bam, out of nowhere with zero warning, your backups start failing, a critical VM won't boot, your whole server just becomes unresponsive. It's not a slow decline, it's like hitting a brick wall at 100 miles an hour. So the big question is, why is this failure so quiet? So catastrophic? Well, to understand that, we've got to look at the specific technology that's right at the heart of the issue. The culprit has a name, LVM Thin Provisioning. And here's the thing, its greatest strength is also its biggest weakness. It lets you over allocate your storage. So you can promise five different VMs, a hundred gig disk, even if you only have a 250 gig SSD. It's super efficient, right up until your VMs actually try to use all that space you promised and the physical disk just runs out. And this slide, man, this says it all. A regular, traditional file system, it starts screaming at you when it's getting full. You get warnings, you get alerts, performance starts to tank, you get plenty of signs to do something about it. But LVM Thin, radio silence. It just lets you keep writing data, right up until the very last byte is gone, and then the entire system just locks up. Total silence, followed by total failure. And believe me, the community has definitely noticed. This quote just sums up the frustration perfectly. You have users who are forced to write their own custom scripts just to get a simple warning. A warning that, let's be honest, you'd think would be a default feature. It's a huge blind spot, and if you're not aware of it, you're basically flying blind. But it is not all doom and gloom. The community, being awesome, has come up with some really solid, battle-tested solutions. So let's walk through the top five fixes that can absolutely save your setup. Okay, fix number one is the most direct approach. Just give it more room to breathe. If you're running out of space, the simplest fix is to add more space. And the best part is, you don't have to wipe your whole system and start from scratch to do it. And here's the basic game plan. You physically install a new drive, then you hop into the terminal and run a couple of simple commands, pvcreate gets the drive ready, and vgextend adds it to your existing storage pool. And boom, just like that, your thin pool has more space. Now yeah, the source material does mention a risk. If one drive in the group fails, the whole thing can break. But honestly, with reliable SSDs and good backups, it's a very manageable strategy. All right, this next one is a huge one. So many people make this mistake. Storing your backups on the exact same LVM thin pool as you're running VMs is just a recipe for disaster. Every single backup eats into that precious, finite space, pushing you faster and faster toward that 100% cliff. So the community's solution is clear. Use Proxmox Backup Server, or PBS. And the efficiency gains are just insane, as you can see here. Thanks to smart tech like deduplication, this one user is storing what would normally be 5 terabytes of backups in just 350 gigabytes. You're not just moving your backups, you're shrinking them into a tiny fraction of their size and saving your primary drive in the process. The next fix is all about good old-fashioned digital hygiene. Over time, our servers just collect so much junk, right? Old Docker experiments, ISO files you only needed once, forgotten volumes. And this stuff isn't just clutter. It is actively consuming the space that your live VMs desperately need. And don't you dare underestimate how much space you can get back. 100 gigabytes just from cleaning up Docker. That could literally be the difference between a stable, happy system and a catastrophic failure. It's just a powerful reminder to clean house every once in a while. Now for a fix that's a bit more technical, but it is so important. See, when you delete a file inside a VM, the host system, it doesn't automatically know that space is now free. This creates what you could call ghost usage. 
So, by enabling the discard option on your virtual disks and running trim inside the operating system, you're basically telling the host, hey, this space is empty now, you can have it back. And this is absolutely essential to stop your storage from lying to you about how full it really is. Okay, so what if you're just tired of fighting with LVM thin? You just want out. Well, there is always what we could call the nuke it option. Some users choose to ditch LVM thin entirely and switch to a more advanced file system like BTRFS or ZFS. This table kind of shows the difference. They offer way better visibility into what's eating your space, plus they have cool built-in features like compression. The trade-off? Yeah, they can be a bit more complex to manage. It's a big move, but for some people that extra control is totally worth it. And here's someone who actually did it. The process is pretty drastic. You have to back up everything, wipe the drive completely clean, reinstall with the new file system, and then restore all your data. But for this user, the benefits of getting better usage data and more control made that whole process worth it. It's the ultimate fix if you're willing to do a full reset. So we've gone through all the fixes, but the real goal is to never need them in the first place, right? And that brings us to the proactive playbook. Here's a quick summary of everything we've covered. The most crucial point is that each one of these is a tool in your arsenal, but the most important one, it's that last one on the list. Set up disk alerts. Don't wait for disaster to strike. Make your system tell you when trouble is even on the horizon. And let's be crystal clear about what's at stake here. This is not just about running out of space to save a file. This is a system level stability issue. The moment that pool hits 100%, your entire server is compromised. So if there's one lesson to take away from all these community stories, it's this. Vigilance is everything. In the world of self-hosting, you can't just set it and forget it. Your server is not designed to hold your hand. You have to be proactive, you have to monitor, and you have to understand the silent killers, like this one. So, you've got the playbook now. You know how to defuse this specific time bomb, but it leaves you with one last lingering thought. If a problem this critical can operate in complete silence, what else is hiding in your setup? just waiting for the right moment to break.